Testing 1, 2, and the 3. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video as we're going to go through the upload VR's list of the best VR games and VR experiences coming out on various different VR headsets, including the Oculus Meta Quest 2, PC VR, HP Reverb G2, and much, much more in 2022. But first, guys, talking about the HP Reverb G2, remember that you can enter to win a brand new HP Reverb G2, as well as a pair of cyber shoes with the entire gaming station, a voucher worth USD $50 that you can redeem against any VR experience that you want, whether it's your Oculus Meta Quest Store, Vive Port, or Steam VR Store, be completely up to you, so how you want to spend the money. So do make sure to enable your bell after you subscribe so you can be notified potentially if you are the winner link in the description and the pin comments below as to how to enter all right let's transition over to today's video happy new year to everybody by the way this is the first video um i'd like also of course to welcome all new viewers to the channel our regular viewers and also awesome subscribers because it's thanks to you that I want to continuously upload videos to this channel and it's thanks to all of you that this channel keeps growing. So thank you, thank you, thank you and a happy new year to you. All right, now let's transition over to today's story. So Upload VR published an article about the potential 40 Quest 2 PC VR and PC VR titles to look out for in 2022. Uh, so next year has a whole host of VR goodness to check out. Let's check out all the various different games. So first of all, we have Among Us, that of course is a very popular, very famous title that a lot of us are looking forward, of course, to this specific title to come out in VR. I think it's going to be tremendous good fun. And of course, make sure to enable the bell after you subscribe because a lot of these different games and experiences that are going to come out, we will also check them out here on the channel. The next one will be Assassin's Creed. Now, Assassin's Creed, I have to I have to admit is is awesome. I mean on the PC it's absolutely amazing. Um, it's first announced back in 2020, uh, but we are hoping, of course, in 2022, it will be the year that Ubisoft uh, will come out with it. Now, let's not forget that Ubisoft have been in a lot of hot water controversy. Uh, I think they just settled a lawsuit worth 100 million US dollars or something uh, for basically, you know, sexual things happening at work and all these kind of different things. So, you know, but anyway, that aside, they do produce amazing titles. It has to be said. I can't get rid of rid of this ad. Not interested in this ad. Can you please get rid of it? Um, anyway, the next one will be uh, the trailers on Quest PC, PSVR and PC VR. Wave shooters may be a dime of dozen in the VR arena, but the trailers focus on full player co-op, bright visuals and upgrade systems has us hopeful that this will be one of the notes. Okay, so basically you have to defend um, defend certain things. So let's just check it out very quickly with some of the trailers. Um, so yeah, no, it looks, I mean, it looks okay. You know, the, the, the artwork looks very basic. I think to me, it looks more like a 2020 kind of artwork. Uh, the graphics, I mean, they're okay. I'm sure it could be good fun, of course, in VR, uh, but I'm, maybe this will be more tailored to the teenagers or the kids, let's say, um, than, you know, adults and, and hardcore gamers. Uh, but it, I mean, it looks good fun. It looks like an easy, you know, kind of game because of course, People who are going to go into VR for the first time want something quite easy to 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 learn to get used to VR. So I think this will be very tailored to that kind of audience. Uh, the next one will be Cosmonius High on Quest and PC VR. Uh, the newest game from Job Simulator developer Okmi Labs is a typically weird exploration of VR interactivity and character connections. You'll be meeting a series of strange characters and solving puzzles with newly bestowed powers in what promises to be one of the year's most colorful adventures. Now, I have to say that their uh, VR experiences are very creative. Uh, very well thought out, very well planned out, very well done. And we will be interviewing these guys as part of the uh, Meta Business Podcast. So do make sure to enable the bell after you subscribe as I'm going to ask them a lot of different questions, um, you know, and, and they're just lovely people to deal with. They're always so helpful with us and VR Essentials when it comes to providing us keys for the demos and all these kind of things. So again, I think this app is going to be very tailor-made to new people in VR who perhaps uh, just want to get used to what's going on in VR, maybe more towards the teenagers, parents with kids. I think that's going to be the target audience for it. However, let's see what 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 ha what it has in reserve uh, but i'm sure it's going to be good fun as well so cool cities vr on quest 2 in spring of next year um so this will 
Fast travel games, of course, are quite renowned in this space also. Uh, they've done a whole heap of different things as well. It's a shame that it's not going to be available also on PC VR. Also, uh, I think there is a version on Steam, if I'm not wrong. I need to go and check it out uh, very quickly first. But this looks really good fun as to building cities like SimCity, of course, uh, and all these kind of things. So, of course, good fun. We always, always like these kind of titles. Uh, the Volver Digital VR game. So let's check this out. Uh, this one's been teased for a little while now, and the Volver is looking for testers. We don't know anything about the publisher's latest VR efforts, but seeing as its last game results in the excellent that is Gorn's. Oh, Gorn is very, very popular, of course. Uh, we can see more. Okay, cool. Uh, this Chronia, Chronos Alternate, early 2022. So, Aldi and Tokyo's Chronos developer, My Dearest Returns, uh, with the latest in a series of VR visual novels. Uh, this Chronia name suggests we'll be getting a new story that deviates from the series' original timeline, but there's still a lot to learn. Uh, Chronos, honestly, is a really cool manga esque kind of VR experience. You definitely have to try it out because the graphics are quite cool. It's very different, very Japanese, very manga, uh, but it has a lot of 3D special effects in it as well. And of course, there's a storyline that you have to follow. Um, for those who are not used to, you know, a slower paced kind of VR title, it won't be for you. But for manga enthusiasts or people who like, you know, these kind of things with stories and things, then it's definitely going to be for you. Moo, the Exorcist VR, one of our all-time favorite VR horror games. It's getting a full sequel with co-op support. Wow, okay, so you'll be able to go in the Exorcist VR in co-op, so that is going to be pretty, pretty fun. Personally, I'm not a horror fan because I just don't like to be scared, but, you know, if you're someone who loves the horror stuff um, and likes to get fright in VR, then I guess this is something that, you know, could potentially be good, although there is no footage whatsoever of the game, so nothing to see here. Uh, another one would be Garden of the Sea Quest PC VR early 2022. Need Corp VR gardening game has been in early access for years now, but early 2022, we'll see the game launch. Okay, cool. So I'm not quite sure what it's, what it's going to be, but it seems to be a very friendly kind of game. Again, for those who are new to VR, uh, who just want to get used to VR, maybe for kids or for the younger crowd, the parents plus the younger ones, um, then I think is definitely, you know, uh, for those kind of people, people who like cutesy things, then it's definitely going to be for you for sure. Uh, the next one will be Grand Theft Auto San. Andreas VR on the Quest 2. I wonder if there's going to be a PC VR version. Mm, that's going to be very interesting. Green Hell VR Quest PC VR early 22. A Polish studio in Kuvo has slowly but steadily made a name for itself with good VR ports of good games, but its long in development port of this survival game looks to be easily its most ambitious yet full motion controllers. So that's going to be cool. It's, it's still in development. Uh, I'll try to, to get hold of them to see if it's possible to uh, get an early access or, or something like that because I love these kind of experiences. Um, it looks the graphics look really good. Um, they look very much 2021, I would say. The immersion looks pretty much there. So very exciting to uh, to 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 see the development in terms of these kind of games, these survival games. Very good immersion, very good experience, especially for adults or for those who want something a bit more uh, substantial in the world of VR. So that should be quite good. Hell Sweeper Quest and PC VR. Sorry. VR remains many people's go-to action game, and we've long wondered what developer Mixed Realms could do with a follow-up. Hellsweeper is the answer. Oh, cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Sarianto, of course, is a very cool, very popular uh, title in VR, of course, and these developers mean business. Wow, I have to say that the graphics look pretty cool. Um, it looks like as if it could have been developed using the Unreal Engine. Uh, doesn't look very Unity-esque, but uh, I'm not quite sure what engine they use. So I have to do more research. But this looks pretty cool. I think a lot of people who like adventure games uh, and these kind of titles, kind of blockbuster, arcade kind of stuff, and who like to go through adventures and fantasy and special effects and magic, then it's definitely going to be for you guys. So this is very exciting. Oh my God, Hitman 3 VR, PC VR. This is the title that I definitely would love to try uh, first for sure, because this is going to be absolutely amazing. It's on PSVR. However, it's going to be available on 
PCVR, yes, in January. Uh, Hitman 3, of course, is a very uh, blockbuster game, one of the most famous games, uh, you know, on console. Um, I, I personally think it's, it's, I mean, of course, it's very violent and it promotes games and things like that, sure, but, uh, you know, it's good entertainment, it's good for people. And generally speaking, the, generally speaking, the team who develop these kind of things are very professional. So I'd love to try this and get my teeth into it. Hubris Part 1, I just contacted the developers. Uh, they're going to let me know when it's possible to do an early access on PC VR because Hubris is honestly one of the most beautiful games that looks like it's about to come out. These guys have worked with Marvel and all the biggest studios, film studios in the world with their motion capture technology. Um, you know, this is using, I think, Unreal Engine. They really mean businesses, people. This is one of the most anticipated uh, VR games or VR experiences to come out next year. I definitely want to try this with Hitman for sure. This is going to be one of my favorite titles next year, I think. The last Cro Clockwinder Quest PC VR in the summer of next year. Last Clockwinder takes a tried uh, and true concept of single player co-op and promises to grow uh, a wholesome experience around it. Work together with your past actions to establish an assembly line and grow fruit. Okay, so uh, this seems to be good fun. Let's just see some of the action. Okay, so again, this is going to be very much for people who want easy gaming, uh, nothing complicated to do, you know, maybe for your younger ones or parents of the younger ones, um, just something very casual, you don't want to think so much, then I think this is really going to be something for them. And also the graphics actually look pretty good. Um, I would say 2020-esque, 2021-esque, let's say nothing, nothing super special, nothing super special, but it looks good fun. So uh, also good for the brain teasing, because of course, you're going to have to solve some cool puzzles. Uh, last Worker Quest and PC VR. The Last Worker really stood out to us at the Venice Film Festival last summer thanks to its story-driven focus star-studded uh, cast including Jason Isaac. Okay, and confident visual style. Um, okay, so you flourish into a full VR remains to be seen, but it's one of our most anticipated new 2020 VR, 2022 VR games. Okay, this is very interesting. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do in The Last Worker. Uh, oh, okay, the graphics look pretty nice, pretty neat, very kind of manga-y as well, or comic book kind of, uh, kind of style as well, a little bit um, reminiscent of... Um of uh, oh man, sorry, very sorry, I forgot forgot the name of the game, but uh, yeah, okay, it looks it looks interesting. I'm not quite sure I can't make any comments to it because there is no actual gameplay to it. But okay, it's coming out. Little Cities Quest PC VR. All right, so we have cities now. Little Cities. Yes, you read that right. Two city building VR games coming in 2022. Ah, very interesting. So the competition is on for building VR games in uh, in in 2022. So it's going to be very interesting to see to compare the different styles of building the cities, the different styles of gameplay, which one is going to provide us a lot more oomph for our brain, a lot more, you know, excitement, a lot more arcadey, a lot more whatever. It's going to be very interesting to see the differences in those. Lost Recipe Quest. Okay, so another recipe game. Very interesting. Uh, shell games, of course, very popular. Other new VR projects on the way is quite different to Among Us. In Lost Recipes, you'll be traveling through time and across the globe to learn ancient cooking techniques. All right, cool. So let's see what, uh, how it looks. All right, the graphics look very basic, very simple, very 2020, 2090-ish, I would say. Uh, so nothing special there, okay? Um, again, I think it's going to be for your VR enthusiasts, people who don't want to think so much, who just want to have a very easy, casual kind of gameplay, you know, those kind of people and the younger ones and their parents as well, I think. So again, family-orientated kind of VR game. Looks interesting. All right, we'll have to try it. Moss Book 2. Okay, this is one of the most anticipated VR games um, that is to come out in 2022. Um, basically, you get to play a mouse, a friendly mouse, and get to travel via, via different stories, different gameplay, uh, get to control this character and solve various different puzzles. Uh, Moss 1, of course, was one of the most blockbuster hitting games in VR of all time. And Moss 2 is very much super anticipated. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see in terms of the graphics, the development, how better it looks, what's different between Moss 1 and Moss 2, because here, for example, I can tell that the graphics look very similar. Um, so let's see what Moss 2 has in reserve for 2022.
to Nerf Ultimate Championship Quest. By the way, guys, we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2. Do you remember that? As well as a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes. So do hit the link below uh, so that you know how to enter this competition. And you also, third winner, will get a uh, 50 US dollar voucher that you can redeem against any Meta Quest or um, uh, Viveport or Steam VR store. So as I mentioned before, enable your bell after you subscribe as you could be notified to be one of the potential winners. Link in the description below for the competition. The VR native multiplayer shooter in which you wield v virtual weapons of your favorite Nerf guns. Oh, this seems to be perhaps something fun, but again, all these kind of games with Nerf and all these kind of things, they really rely on, you know, community, having a lot of members there. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. So there are already a certain number of platforms doing this. Is it going to work because it has Nerf instead of something else? Who knows? Let's wait and see. But, you know, benefit of doubt, right? Uh, it would be good to see this one working better, of course, than Population 1, because Population 1 is owned by Meta. And honestly speaking, anything that's owned by Meta, we need other we need other things to, to surpass it. So hopefully this will help. Um, <laughs> it's, it's true. Uh, Outlier, piece of year. Okay, this is really cool. Uh, so another year, another chance of Joywave. Oh, Joywave. Oh my God, they are hitting so many different VR games and we will try to get them on the Meta Business Podcast as well. So do make sure to enable the bell for that interview to release a lot of games. But Outliers uh, looks to continue the developer's trend of launching great concepts that play incredibly well. Uh, okay, so uh, let's check out the graphics. Uh, the graphics don't look bad, so another shooter game. I'm wondering whether it's... Uh, well, it does look very interesting, I have to admit. Uh, graphics look pretty advanced. I mean, I wouldn't say super, super advanced, but art direction is pretty much there. It doesn't look too bad, I have to admit. So very exciting to see how this game is going to fare against other games that are going to come out around the same time next year, I have to admit. And also, is it going to be co-op, single player? A lot to find out next year. Looking forward to that one. Paranormal Hunter PC VR. Channeling other co-op games is great that we have a lot of co-op games, guys, because co-op is what we need in virtual reality. By the way, games like Phasmobia, Paranormal Hunter is a horror experience. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, so horror fans are going to get more kind of horror experiences, which is pretty cool. It seems like horror to me is more of an exploration kind of stuff uh, where you're in the dark. It's, it's, I mean, it's, I'm wondering if it would be nice to have some kind of horror title that really thinks out of the box uh, instead of just changing, you know, the environment and changing the music. Really, really come up with something super original. It's just my thought, just my two cents worth. Do leave a comment below. Let me know what you think uh, in terms of what could be new in horror, your favorite horror game as well, and the ones that you felt in 2021 weren't so great, and the ones that you're looking forward in 2022. All right, so next on the list is Peaky Blinders King's Ransom. The King's Ransom. Doctor Who, the Edge of Time developer, Maze Theory. Now, Doctor Who, unfortunately, uh, was a flop. It was not a hit, unfortunately. Great shame, uh, because they had a lot of money to put in it. So let's see how these guys do with this one. Uh, but the development of the, the the title was good. It was well made. It's just that there are certain things in it that basically made it not a hit. Uh, Maze Theory returns to VR with a long-awaited Peaky Blinders game. The experience will let you become a member of the legendary crew, but the developer has also been touting an immersive new AI system that will see characters react differently to how you behave. Ah, oh, AI is coming, guys. Very interesting to see how this one will do next year. Propagation Paradise Hotel, Quest PSVR, PC VR, late 2022. Ooh, Propagation was a surprise hit for VR developers. One of them offering a polished free single player zombie shooter experience with premium co-op DLC. Next year, we'll see the studio return to the franchise with a new full game. All right, we're looking forward to this one. This is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, let's just skip directly to the VR gameplay and see what kind of uh, graphics is coming here. This looks very interesting as well. Let me just fast forward. Uh, uh, 